Howdy, howdy, I'm Luke Shambo. And I'm Matt Slover, and this is your Clipper News Report. This year's Spirit Week contained five wacky and expressive days, starting off with Class Color Day, where each class dressed up in their dedicated colors. Freshmen wore white, sophomores wore red, and juniors wore blue. And the seniors looked as good as ever in their all-black attire. Tuesday was Pajama Day, where all students would dress up in their comfiest clothes and prepare to take periodic naps in class. Wednesday was America Day, where students dressed up in red, white, and blue, or even American-style clothing, where there was no shortage of patriotism. On Thursday, we had Prep Day. Finally, on, the, on Friday, we had the Pep Rally, where students dressed up in their school colors and came together to celebrate our school's accomplishments and partake in some mildly friendly competitions. I am nothing short of ecstatic to announce that your senior class was deemed the winner in the Most Spirited Class contest. We got all the highlights from this year's, spirit, this year's pep rally. We can't wait to show you them. So, how did you feel like you guys did? Oh, we won the pep rally, Matt. I, we did amazing. We had probably around 20 kids in our paint crew alone, but kind of, where, uh, where was your paint crew at? Yeah, no, so we obviously didn't do too well, but senior year, we're coming. What would you do with $50,000? Well, I'm not sure, but David Lilly, our local auto teacher, has recently been awarded for his teaching accomplishments, not only in the classroom, but in national competitions as well. We headed down to the auto department to get all the info. Local auto teacher David Lilly recently had won a Teaching Excellence Award for $50,000. He was chosen as one of 15 second prize winners of the Harbor Freight Tools for Schools Prize for Teaching Excellence. We went down to ask him a little more about the auto program and what they have to offer. Compete. Um in multiple competitions each year students do, um, which is part of the, the success that, that was brought on from last year's teams. Um, you know, last year we, we have a team event and an individual event that we go to each year. Um, last year we won first place in both, um, but that sent us to two different national competitions, one in New York and one in Kentucky, um, where we placed seventh in the country as a, in the team event, and then 20th overall individually um, at the Skills USA event and so the, the two events we do each year the students are challenged multiple different ways um, diagnosing bugged cars um, heavily electronics based um, competitions fine measurements a lot of math uh, a lot of science concepts and so it's really just a matter of um, showing kids what today's industry is all about and the skills they're going to need and just hoping they follow through on uh, what's expected of them all right, so the misconception here is, is that this, this uh, program is only training technicians. So what we want to make sure is that um, students recognize how many other pathways are available. We've got engineering, we've got design, we've got um, you know, other dealership operations. Um, when you think of the, the, the vast op options as far as employment opportunities, when you think of a dealership, 
or an independent repair shop, um, it really does go outside of, of just being a technician, although that is some of the skills that we, that we work on here. So as far as the engineering goes, if you want to improve something or design something, you certainly have to understand how it works. So we do um, uh, work a lot of those operations and, and again, the math and science principles into our content uh, to make sure that that pathway is uh, uh, an easy transition into post-secondary. So any potential incoming students, you know, what they should know about our program is that the automotive industry right now is a, is a high demand, high wage industry. There's no doubt about it. Um, they are an industry right now that has put their money where their mouth is uh, with the amount of scholarships they give out, um, with, the, with the pay that they're giving uh, new technicians and the training that's available. And uh, the post-secondary programs right here in the state um, are, really, are really top notch. So we're trying to make sure that students see what's available to them, uh, how, how wanted they are and how in demand they are. And um, hopefully it sets them on the right path to uh, making some money and having a great career. Now, Matt, what would you do with $50,000? I'd travel the world. Travel the world with $50,000? You know what I would do? I would get one of those new Tesla Cybertrucks. I know people have been talking trash about them, saying they look ugly, but I like the design. I like how they look, OK? All right, all right. In our lives, we are sometimes faced with dilemmas that we have to choose on a dime. This week, we went out to the hallways to see what you prefer and what you are th most thankful for this Thanksgiving season. All right, Ty, Netflix or Hulu? Hulu. Oakhurst or Hood? Hood. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. What are you most thankful for? What are you, around these times, around these holidays, what are you most thankful for? You know, I guess friends, family, and you know, being able to go to school and get a great education, you know? That's it right there. TV shows or movies? TV shows. TV shows. Netflix or Hulu? Hulu. Netflix. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Uh, neither. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs, man. Dogs. And what are you guys most thankful for on, in the holiday season? What gets you? Um, music. My friends and my family. Very good. All right. TV shows or movies? Uh, movies. TV shows. All right. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, neither. Coke. At Hulu or Netflix? Netflix. Hulu. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. And what are you most thankful for during this holiday season? Uh, family. Christmas music. Oh, that is good. Wait, wait, wait. What is your favorite Christmas song? Mm. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. That one. Uh, wait. <laughs> Mariah Carey? You're like, that one's not, like, that's a no-brainer, man. Like, <laughs> okay, Ryan. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Coke or Pepsi? Lemonade. All right. Threw me off. Hulu or Netflix? Netflix. TV shows or movies? Uh, TV shows. And what are you most thankful for with this upcoming holiday season? My family and Donovan Fate. Oh, okay. All right. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, Pepsi. TV shows or movies? Oh, movies. They're movies, yeah. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Or what are you thankful for during this holiday season? My friends and my family. Ah, there it is. All right, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke. All right, Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Hulu. Movies or TV shows? Movies. Movies. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. And what is your, what are you most thankful for during this holiday season? Football. Snow. Cats or dogs, man? I'm allergic to both. Coke or Pepsi? Soda's bad for you. Netflix or Hulu? I don't know, man. Hulu's pretty dope, but I don't have it. Uh, do you have Amazon Prime Video? Yeah. Yeah, I have that too. That one's the best. Yeah. All right, movies or TV shows? Uh, depends on my mood. And uh, what are you most thankful for? <clears throat> Climate change. There it is. All right, Brooks. TV shows or movies? TV shows. Hulu or Netflix? Hulu. Dogs or cats? Dogs. 
Pepsi or Coke? I'm a Coke man myself. And what are you most thankful for this holiday season? Monster energy. <laughs> okay, guys. TV shows or movies? Movies. Movies. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> All right, and what are you guys most thankful for during this holiday season? Go to him first. Probably Ryan. Definitely Finn. Now, Matt, what are you most thankful for during this holiday season? The United States of America. Now, what about you? Parliament. Figures. Well, that's, well, that's it for us here at the uh, Clipper News Report. We'll see you soon.